I call up Maureen Pugh. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It's my pleasure to take a short call on this, the social, social security extension of young person services and remedial matters amendment bill in its second reading today. Mr Speaker, as we've heard today from my learned colleagues, Mrs Palmer and Mr Ducey, uh, the numbers are scary, Mr Speaker. For 18 to 19-year-olds on job seeker support, they will spend on average a whopping 13 years on welfare. To consign these young people to the scrap heap and simply keep throwing more and more money at them without wrapping the support around them is simply not acceptable, Mr Speaker. It's a bad investment. It's not affordable for us as a country financially, but more, more it is not affordable for us socially. It's soul-destroying to be on a benefit and to be beholden to the state for everything. We owe it to these young people to invest in them so they can be successful, so they can be independent and so they can be proud. And more, of, more importantly, Mr Speaker, they need to be meaningful contributors to society as a whole but I guess the highest priority for me is that they become meaningful contributors to their families, their children. Breaking the cycle of dependency and wrapping all possible support around these young people is an absolute necessity. We believe in them. We know when they find their way into work, into training, into education, everyone wins. The downward spiral is broken. More of the same will deliver more of the same. We will wrap support around these young people, each and every one of them individually, and help them achieve. We must do something to ensure these young people are better equipped to better their own prospects. And I'm confident that the work that the Honourable Anne Tolley is doing in this field is making a real difference. I have great pleasure, Mr Speaker, in commending this bill to the House. Yeah.